You know what? Cam Newton's hat. Job well done. That thing Dude, didn't budge. He could walk through that like TSA pre, and they'd be like, "Nope, stays on. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's that like, thing stays on. Like, like, it, it doesn't matter if there ends up being a uh, you know the, the emergency exit door opening. That's gonna stay on. Oh, as the he's plane's good. Going down. Yeah, he is yeah. good. But I mean, you know, Lavar, you've got to feel at least some. I don't know if responsible is the right word or, or proud. Vindicated. Maybe. Vindicated, yeah. I think, is the right Thank word. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Q. Yeah. That, but, uh, I mean, f- for one, now, it, you're vindicated as backhanded. You, you Jonas, <laughs> what do you, mean? you, Jonas, <laughs> let me tell you something. You, <laughs> you are, you, you're, you know what, now, I'll get dumped saying what you are. Um, <laughs> I did not fight in the seven-on-seven seven tournament where there was a there was a fight in the tournament that I was in with my players <laughs> and the and the parents of the other team. Well, so as an adult, I what was have the guy to with step- the ostrich tank? Was he a coach or a parent? That's kind. Of, that's cold blooded. Yeah. Man. Did did we figure that? Was it a uh, that or a colostomy bag? Because I know kinda, we were trying well, to I figure mean, out. Why, 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 I mean, why? Well, I mean, stop there? You know. I mean, I'm just trying <laughs> to. Let's put him on the, in a walker or a wheelchair. Like, why not? Well, because he, he he wasn't. We saw him in the video. He had like a tank or something with him. No, he, he did. Didn't. <laughs> he did, <not. laughs> he did. And whatever it is, he what was had, that like a robot he, dog he walked he around came, with. He came running up on me. Like which he is did stupid. move fast. <laughs> That's the fastest dude with an oxygen tank <laughs> ever. <laughs> so the circumstances were different. I don't. I've gotten you know. I I got a couple different messages from people who were there. Um, what actually, they say happened. Um, th- there's conflicting reports, but the one that seemed to be most consistent was there was two two asp two two parts. One was that the guys apparently used to coach for Cam and 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 they beat Cam in the game or that they had just played or whatever it was and and Cam was basically they were talking trash going back and forth and Cam was basically like look I made y'all like I made y'all who y'all are y'all have the team you have because y'all y'all worked for me and they rushed him that was one report and then the other report was Cam was trying to break up a fight that was taking place and they ended up rushing him. So I don't, oh, you know, I that, that, that those were the two, two reports that I got from um, people that were there. Now, granted, chances are the people that are there don't even know really what happened, you know? So like I said, I'll say that that's what I got. Um, and, and my messages from, from a couple kids that their parents, that the kid, the kid was participating or, you know, other, you know, re, you know, kind of respected people that you know that that were there. So anyway, bottom line is, is that they they tried to jump him. I mean, there there's I mean, it, it, it doesn't take a genius to look at how that was playing out from where, you know, the, the, the guy runs up the steps, you know, steals on him. The other guys in his face, he's holding them. I mean, I just, you, you know. It's unfortunate is what it is, regardless of of how it happened, why it happened. It's just unfortunate that things like that happen in sports because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know where they were. I didn't even think to ask of where, what part of the country they were in or where it was taking place. But and and most – you know, well, and, and Lee might have been there, by the way. Lee, were, were oh, you present yeah. for this where it was? Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Lee was busy. Yeah, uh, it was possible. Was that was a little far. Yeah. He was probably busy in the same type of place in a different part of the country. But in those parts of the country, when things like that happen and you're actually trying to jump a guy and it's not working, oh, no. people people resort to a different type of violence. We could very easily be talking about one of the biggest headlines in sports history where Cam Newton was slain at a seven on seven tournament. Mm. And and Yeah, but it didn't happen, so let's talk about his hat. Yeah, I was gonna say let's yeah, uh let's but, probably not go that direction. Well it's right? pretty I mean, but it's pretty but but that's that's the reality of what happens and, and I know you guys might feel uncomfortable with it, but culturally speaking, that's what happens. 
That's well, what happens. Sure, sure. And, and, and I get that. But, again, that's not reality. And, and if we want to talk about that, I, I think we can – I don't know. We, well, we can do it another I'm just, spot. I, I'm just Cause, giving cause, my point. I'm just giving my I, point. The point I'm giving is is that it's unfortunate when adults connect up and and do childish things because when they do these childish things and you're not you're not getting the results that you're seeking – Things like that type of violence takes place that ensues in these moments. So for what is worth and and making my point, y'all can make y'all's point. That's that's why it's radio. We all have our different opinions. We're just trying to have but, fun. We're not trying yeah, to like, give yeah, too well, much of it. I'm just saying, I, I know y'all can, y'all can make it fun, but I'm just saying for me, I know, I know the first thing I thought when, when it happened, when I was there, that's the first thing I start thinking is is i hope nobody does anything like that and it's a reality it's a reality that that exists it's it's a reality that happens and and i just i don't don't think it's i don't think it makes any sense when adults take take a what's supposed to be a extracurricular activity for guys to to get exposure to to have fun and us to make fun and have fun with it when these things happen at these types of events. I, I, I mean, I just think what? it's very irresponsible. I'm uh, like, I was a, a bit ashamed because I spent at least three to four minutes Google searching what a TSP crew is. <laughs> What yeah. the hell is TSP crew? That's just their crew. That's their nickname. Wait, how do you Google search it and not come up with that answer? I, 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 just, I really don't know what it is. <laughs> like, I, I okay, looked around. Well, that's not part of the story. It's like yeah, you Google searched it. I, I did, and I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. Like, it's I just one of the team names. I don't know what, what it, team I don't know what yeah, it stands for. Like, I don't it, know what, It's not that complicated. It's okay. one of the team yeah. names, 7-on-7. Seven seven. So I, I was unaware that 7-on-7 seven seven tournaments had, like, crews. Like had oh like God. you know See, like you I said culturally speaking there's like, at least seven you know, kids God which me. means you'd think there's at least maybe seven parents maybe not maybe there's some twins on it or something but you're gonna have some reserves maybe too some twins. so like you're gonna have at least I don't know fourteen I mean it, like you got all the kids you got the wow. parents like I'm all, there's yeah there's gonna be a team all right. well, there's gonna be a yeah, crew apparently. like what I mean what are we missing here's here's the thing that I think because the story is more cam. Like, Cam puts himself out there to do these 7-on-7 tournaments and camps and things. And from my perspective, like, he's been continually disrespected. Mm. Like, that's what I can't understand is a dude who's been the MVP, who's had had a long, successful career. He's doing a good job transitioning into media and all that. He's trying to help out the community, help out young people. And I don't even care, like, the dudes who he got in a, tussle with and all that like they looked young I, I don't know if, if you know you, you said he coached them and then they became they coached for him or something whatever it is they looked young they didn't look old you know you kind of forget like cams is what mid 30s is it? so maybe late it, it, if now, you're right? looking at it like th- those guys to me are still young men that he's trying to mentor and yet they're coming at him like that I don't care if there was trash talk or not or however, whatever happened, transfer, it doesn't matter. Like, we've seen videos of kids at a camp talking trash to Cam Newton. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that, like, there can't be some friendly banter or something, but this is a guy who takes time out of his life, who's made millions of dollars, doesn't need to be doing this, to try to help out young people, teach them the game of football, teach them the lessons of life, lessons he's learned, and this is how they treat him? That's that's more what I would take away from all of this is if I'm Cam, why even continue to do this? Mm. Like like what is he getting? Back? All he gets back in return is drama and then potentially like negative backlash because oh here we go again or there's there's some sort of video that comes out where like when I first saw the video I was like oh the first one looks like he's getting jumped the second one I saw I was like I don't know if it looks like he's getting jumped it looks like there's some sort of altercation. And the the way the the three dudes kind of walked up on it, it's hard to tell. But either way, like you risk putting yourself in that situation to put it out there, and it's just not worth it for him. He's too know, valuable. He's made too bad. much money. <laughs> I know. I know it made me look bad as if I was fighting and I had nothing 
to do with Ooh. any type of fighting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I you're so. always going to see. Look at you. The, the, look at you. Video man. evidence would say otherwise. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying is to, to your point, LeVar, because you are now <clears throat> lumped in with Cam Newton here <laughs> as, as being one of those, you know, perpetrators. <laughs> right, in the, yeah, uh, right. seven I mean, on seven turn yeah. routes. But, but in all seriousness, like, and I'd say the same thing to you, like, like what's the like, like what's what's the upside? Because because you're trying to help out young people yet like they don't that's how they treat you that's how they treat Cam like yeah, I, I look at it and say it's not worth my time then I got kids I got other people that I, I need to worry about and care more about like if you want to have a serious conversation about that would be a serious conversation I'd like to get back to the fact of that hat somehow yeah they through all on. of that stayed on yeah through all of that so now I've got more questions like. Is that, is, is that obviously attached to his hair in some sort of like – I mean, it can't be glue. It's got to be some sort of like attachment that's on there, right? It has to be like the Slenderman, doesn't he? Like, it's more than a clip like you see like in other cultures that they wear on top of like a, you know, something <laughs> if else. People, if people know about the Slenderman, I mean, he's got to be the Slenderman. Like that dude looked like – that video looked like they were fighting uh, a, a made-up character. He was tall. He was strong, and they couldn't do nothing with him. It just, it just looked like, and the hat totally made him at least what seven more f- inches taller, oh, nine eight. more inches. He looked huge. I, I told he you, like I remember, like when you big. play against Cam Newton, and you see him out there on the field, you're like, my goodness, like who's gonna <laughs> stop that man? Because like, like I, I look at our defense, I'm like, I feel bad for you guys. Like mm. if, if he gets in the open field, like. He's going to make you look silly. And, like, the DBs, they're out there covering forever. And he heave a 60-yard bomb. Like, I always thought playing against him. I, you know, it reminded me of when he won the national championship at Auburn. Just throwing all those dudes off. I was like, yeah, he did that at Auburn. Y'all didn't see that back when he was in college and won a national championship by himself? Like, he was it, doing the same thing. By the way, his team won the tournament, right, Lee? Yes, he did, they uh, did win. Yeah, see, look at that. Through through all of that, still figured out a way to see, win. See, the there tournament. we go. LeVar, did your team win the Hell tournament? Yeah. Yes, we did win. There you go. See, that's what happens to winners. Yep. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden they start targeting y'all. You know, it's very true. The guy that Lavar roughed up looked like ET in the creek. I mean, these guys at least it was like seven on one. So you know, ET in the creek. Yeah, huh? you know the part where he's dying in the creek. But uh, I thought I the know. video I remember seeing. I have to look up it again. It looked like Lavar like dodged one, like they were attacking at him. Jeez, you know, like that's you, what you know, I'm saying. Like they, yeah, like they you dodged one, and there might have been a few, a few haymakers. <laughs> I was a part of no exchanges of, of hey, punches. Let me tell you out. something. If I would, it'd be very. It, it, here's what you got to know: there would not be any type of interpretation needed if I were fighting. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I were fighting, you yeah. we wouldn't have to be, and we wouldn't be joking about be it because it, it would have been blood too. Yeah, that's your it prediction. It would have been bodies on the floor. There'd be bodies on the floor. There'd be bodies, and I'd be hearing that in my head. And then next thing you know, once the song is over, I see a whole bunch of dudes laying in, in on the ground and stuff oh, yeah. like that. So put, put that. I your, didn't get that. I didn't get to that point. Put that in your TSP crew and smoke it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't got to make it about me, though. I mean, them boys need to go back to the gym. They couldn't get Cam to move, couldn't get his hat off, couldn't get him on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's what would have been going through my head. Y'all wouldn't have had to have no questions. It would have been no I, I, questions uh, asked if I lost I, it on Let me people. just give those boys a recommendation. Cause I, I feel like I try to give Cam you know, some things to think about, whether or not he, he wants to keep putting himself out there doing this. But... For the TSC, the TSP crew, TSC. You was going to say TSA. No, it was a yeah, TSA. A, TSA crew. At this TSA point, crew. At this point they'll get the you now. And, 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 and that TSA crew is the crew that will get you. The TSA pre-crew, who this one could stop anyone. Um, y'all need to start doing some, like, stability work, all right? <laughs> like, that would be the first thing I'd start all doing. I'd start ground. working on your core. Jeez. And then after that, I would really start thinking about some, like, a muscle endurance phase. I'm talking high reps, a lot of sets, high reps. Mm. Let's, let's, let's start building up some of the muscle mass, right, some volume. <laughs> and eventually, I'd start you needed, needed you to wean down to, like, a, a four, three, two, one, one rep max, Some, somewhere in that ballpark, wherever you feel comfortable with. But I need, like, low reps, mm. heavy weight, the mm. bar's not bending, you're just pretending. Mm. Because otherwise, you got no shot the next time you try to jump camp. Yeah. All right? Mm. Hell yeah. 
what I'm yeah. talking about. Familiarity. What? And maybe and maybe out. learn some judo. I feel like judo is mm. when they throw, right? Oh yeah. They yeah. grab by the gi and yeah. They, yeah. they throw in well, judo. That's what Cam was doing. Cam was. That's judo. what I'm saying. Like he clearly yeah. knew judo. Like yep. he was launching dudes. He was leveraging too, wasn't he? Yeah. He was using the other dude to throw the other dude. The other dude. It almost was like a movie. You know what? Like that you yes. see in a movie, the like guy uses Lee the movie. one guy to yeah. like he like takes like the bullets or he takes the punches. Yeah, it was like the exact same thing. He threw it's, the dude Cam, down. Cam could be a superhero, dude. Yeah, he tossed the other guy. Cam could the other be a superhero. Dude back up off the ground. I'm t- <laughs> like when he did the Superman thing. I was like, he looks like Superman. Like his celebration now. That that, that looks like Superman right there. Mm. Yeah. Think twice before you step to guys like Cam Newton and Lamar Arrington at a seven. That's right. Seven control. Tournament. Don't, That's don't right. be putting Especially that you got that oxygen tank Ricky you drag Bobby. along with yeah. you, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't be you take that, that oxygen tank, you leave in the car. Yeah. I didn't right? tell that man to come out on the field with an oxygen tank. That's on. his. That's his problem. That's, that's right. His, he that's, that's, that was his decision. Hey, he, like couldn't, he couldn't handle that yeah. oxygen less environment. No. There you go. He had enough oxygen to talk trash. It looked like he might have been diabetic too. Honestly, like he might have like glucose or something. So all I had to do was just scratch him. I don't know about that. I mean, he came out there hot. I mean, all I had to do was scratch him. If I mean, he didn't have I, that blood you know, thinner you, in him, he, 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 he might have he he hit you with that out cart. He could have hit you the cart that had the oxygen tank. He could have hit you with that yep. thing. Dang. It's dangerous out there, man. 